INFJ alone time vertical, but you won't believe what happens next. Have you ever wondered what happens when an INFJ is truly alone? For a personality type known for empathy and deep connection with others, solitude holds a unique, almost transformative power. INFJs are often seen as the mysterious ones in the Myers-Briggs types, a blend of intuition, empathy, and introspection. But what happens when they're alone with their thoughts? Today, we're diving into the unbelievable things that happen to INFJs when they're on their own and why this time alone is essential for them. If you're an INFJ or you know someone who is, you'll find these insights fascinating. So, let's get into it. Solitude isn't just a preference for INFJs, it's a necessity. While they can be social and enjoy meaningful interactions, INFJs recharge through time alone. For INFJs, being alone is an opportunity to retreat from the noise of daily life, allowing them to reset and dive deep into their own world. Here's why solitude is so powerful for them. Internal recharge. INFJs are introverts at heart and solitude allows them to recharge their mental and emotional batteries. Unlike extroverts, who gain energy from social settings, INFJs need this quiet time to refuel. Think of an INFJ after a long day of work or socializing. To someone else, a quiet night in might seem uneventful, but for the INFJ, it's like taking a deep breath and centering themselves. Mental Clarity and Insight In Solitude INFJs often experience heightened clarity. This time allows them to reflect on the day, make sense of interactions, and even gain profound insights. Alone time for an INFJ is a bit like pressing pause on life so they can process things fully. An INFJ might go for a walk or sit with a journal, and within minutes, they begin connecting thoughts or patterns they didn't see before. It's like piecing together a puzzle, something they find calming and fulfilling. One of the most fascinating aspects of INFJs is their ability to self-reflect deeply. When they're alone, this introspection becomes a full journey inward. They process thoughts, emotions, and experiences, often revisiting conversations, ideas, and questions that need resolution. Unpacking Emotions INFJs are naturally empathetic and often absorb the emotions of others. Solitude allows them to unpack and release these emotions, separating what belongs to them from what they might have absorbed from others. Imagine an INFJ after spending time with a friend who's going through a rough patch. Once they're alone, the INFJ may reflect on how they feel, identifying the emotions that aren't theirs and mentally releasing them. Building self-awareness INFJs use alone time to get to know themselves better. They ask themselves questions about their goals, desires, values, and purpose. This self-awareness process is vital to how they understand the world and their role in it. An INFJ might take a quiet evening to reflect on a career decision, considering how it aligns with their values and aspirations. It's not unusual for an INFJ to have a moment of clarity during these sessions, leading to major life decisions or realizations. INFJs are often highly creative individuals, and solitude is where their creativity truly flourishes. Away from external pressures, they have the freedom to dream, visualize, and create. Many INFJs feel that they're at their best creatively when they're alone. Imaginative thinking I.N.F.J.'s creativity is heavily influenced by their dominant function, introverted intuition, knee which allows them to envision complex ideas and scenarios. When they're alone, this creativity has room to run wild, often resulting in innovative ideas or artistic expression. An INFJ might take a solo weekend to write, paint, or brainstorm ideas for a project. They often surprise even themselves with the depth and originality of their ideas, as they're able to reach creative heights in the absence of distractions. Future-Oriented Visioning Alone time lets INFJs envision the future. They might picture their ideal life, career path, or relationships, tapping into their ability to sense potential and possibility. This future vision is especially strong for INFJs, who tend to focus on the big picture. 
During a quiet night, an INFJ may sit with a cup of tea and dream about their life five or ten years down the road. They're not just fantasizing but actually mapping out steps toward their ideal future, whether it's a new career, personal growth, or even community goals. For INFJs, a long time is also essential for emotional processing and healing. Because they absorb so much from the people around them, INFJs often need time to sift through these experiences and allow themselves to heal emotionally. Letting go of external emotions. INFJs are prone to carrying the emotions of others, which can weigh them down. Alone time gives them a safe space to let go of these feelings, almost like an emotional detox. After an intense conversation with a friend who's struggling, an INFJ might spend time alone to release any sadness, stress, or worry they've absorbed. It's as though they're shedding layers that don't belong to them. Self-healing and growth. During solitary moments, INFJs also work on their own emotional healing. They may reflect on past wounds or unresolved issues, allowing themselves the time and space to process these feelings fully. An INFJ might take a day to meditate or write about a past experience that hurt them. Through this process, they often gain closure, helping them to grow stronger emotionally and mentally. INFJs are natural problem solvers, and alone time is when they tackle some of their most pressing questions. Solitude allows them to think without interruptions, weighing options and foreseeing potential outcomes. Complex decision-making Because INFJs are future-oriented, they like to think through decisions thoroughly. Being alone lets them analyze the possibilities, evaluate risks, and make choices that align with their values and goals. An INFJ might spend hours reflecting on a job opportunity, considering not only the immediate benefits but also how it fits into their long-term vision. This deep analysis helps them make decisions that they feel truly good about. Solving personal or relational issues Alone time is when INFJs process interpersonal issues, particularly ones that weigh on them. They often revisit conversations and relationships in their minds looking for solutions and understanding their emotions better. If an INFJ has had a falling out with a friend, they might spend time alone considering what happened, why it hurt them, and what steps they can take to mend the relationship. This introspection helps them approach the situation with clarity and compassion. For many INFJs, alone time is also an opportunity for spiritual and personal growth. This introspective time allows them to connect with their inner selves, seek purpose, and even meditate on their life path. Seeking purpose and meaning. INFJs often feel a deep need to understand their purpose. Alone time allows them to explore this in a reflective way, asking questions about their impact, values, and legacy. An INFJ might spend time journaling about their life purpose, reflecting on what gives them fulfillment. This exploration often leads to personal insights that guide their career choices, relationships, and goals. Spiritual Practices For some INFJs, solitude is a time for spiritual practices like meditation, prayer, or contemplation. These practices help them stay grounded and connected to their inner guidance. An INFJ might start their day with meditation, finding that this grounding practice brings them a sense of peace and clarity that they carry throughout the day. In the end, the time an INFJ spends alone is transformative, offering them a chance to recharge, reflect, and connect with themselves. It's a powerful space where they can unlock creativity, process emotions, make decisions, and grow. If you're an INFJ, embrace this need for solitude. It's not just a preference, it's a key part of who you are. And for those who know an INFJ, understand that their time alone isn't about pushing people away, it's about becoming the best version of themselves. Let us know in the comments how solitude affects you or the INFJs in your life, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video if you found it insightful.